evening or morning has passed and some acceptance has been reached at the fact that Lionel Messi is no longer a Barcelona player, a club he spent 21 years involved with, uh, as firstly as a teenager and then onwards becoming the best footballer in the world. He's off to Paris Saint-Germain in the French League. And to talk about this, we joined from Barcelona by uh, John Collin, writer on football and many other subjects besides. John, welcome to 702 Drive. Thanks for your time. Pleasure to be here, John. Tell us, first of all, before we talk about the move to to the, the capital of France, the mood in Barcelona, um, are, are people angry, are people dismayed, or are people finally accepting that all good things come to an end? I think the first two, I think angry and dismayed rather than acceptance. There's a general feeling of you know disbelief that, that Messi is no longer going to be wearing the, the colours of Barcelona. Um, there's, there's frustration, there's rage, and there's a general sour feeling. It's just so sad i think but everyone would agree is it's so sad that messi has ended his glorious epoch at barcelona in such a confused um, disagreeable way which clearly there is no love lost at all between messi and the president of barcelona who he feels who he feels has betrayed him and generally he feels immensely let down by by the club he wanted to carry on he wanted to end his career at barcelona um, it hasn't happened, and I think a large burden of the blame for, for, the, for the, just the, the mess of all this, the absolute mess, the mess surrounding Messi, yes. um, lies with, with, the, with the club itself, with the club management, with the club administration. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.